Hey, how are you doing? Holmes here, and welcome back to some more Elden Ring boss guide. Today we are going to be taking on Loretta again, but this time it's her actual form and not the ghostly form from last time. And the attack pattern is a little bit different. This is the place where you would fight Millennia. Uh, yeah, Millennia. But you have to get through this this bitch first before you can get to the main bitch. So here we go. Uh, we're going to be doing pretty much the same strat. So she still got her swords, like flying swords or magic shots. Uh, you guys never fought the previous one, like the ghostly one I was talking about. Um... They pretty much have the same attack. And I think this one's a little bit more higher level, I would say, because when it comes to phase two, it's it's a little bit different in phase two compared to the first, like the the ghostly one. So I'm gonna stay with the same strat here and just bait her to do an attack and then go in for an attack. So once she does a swing, go in for a jump attack, the horse stomp, going for a jump attack. She's doing another horse stomp. Alright, I welcome it and I got hit, so <laughs> let's back up a little bit. Yeah, after you do one attack, just get away. Uh, she will have the arrow shot now from on first phase, so you dodge it by just rolling sideways. Uh, be careful because there's a little bit of delay. This overhead is beautiful because you can also just after she does it when you're like out of range, wait for her to like stop for one second and then jump in for an attack because she has to recover. So that's pretty much how you deal with her, like the easy way I would say, just to bait the attacks. I mean, you can go in close and try to like stay near the horse's butt or something like that. But if we do that, uh, she's gonna use her halberd and then she's gonna have like she's gonna have like this three to four hit combo. And I don't know. I just feel like it's really annoying to dodge all those. So baiting the overhead is probably the easiest. And same thing, you know, the arrow shot, dodge it to the side. Uh, swords, you can pretty much just strafe that. Magic shots, you can either strafe it or you can dodge sideways. This uh, halber slash, you can dodge it by running away. Like you can run away for the first one and then when she swings again, like her second swing, you can either dodge into it or just keep running away, up to you. Uh, if you do choose to dodge into it, you can get a hit in afterwards. So, one, two, see? You can just dodge into it and then get a hit in afterwards. Um, overhead, going for a jump attack. Really, think uh, either two-handing a weapon or dual wielding will be pretty useful for these fights, since we're not gonna block. I don't know if blocking is ideal for this. Maybe there's an opening for a counter attack that I just don't know about. But yeah, and once you drop her health down below fifty percent, she will then go into this quote-unquote stage two. So. When she spawns the sword, there's like two sets now, so you shoot the first one and then she's gonna shoot the second one. Dodge it the same way, you can just straight for left or right. Uh, her magic shot will now have four to five hits. I couldn't see if it was four or five, but you dodge it the same way. Uh, I believe she has a unique halber attack as well. This, uh, was that a quad arrow? <laughs> she shoots off four of those arrows, you dodge it the same way. like. I, this is supposed to be intimidating or something, but I don't know, but you dodge it the same way as you would dodge the single shots. So, yeah, um, <laughs> I guess the attacks are just enhanced, but, you know, there's nothing too different. Alright, here's the special halber attack. She spins around twice and then she does an overhead. You can simply avoid that by just staying away. I just chose to dodge in for the last hit just so I can get some damage in. And kind of speed up this fight a little bit. Since um, she's on horseback and you can't you can't be on horseback. And she has like all these spammy attacks. And also, the ones that's not spammy hit super hard. Um, I don't know. I feel like baiting is just... The most effective strategy for her. See, I didn't, I, I didn't wait for her to recover during that swing. That's why she had like the continuation combo. That's what makes that dangerous, and that's why I'll, I mainly choose to attack when she does the, the overhead slash with the halberd, because I feel like the recovery time it's like, it's easier to predict, I guess, for her. If she does a swing, there is still a recovery time, but I, I always like more or less miss it 
sometimes like if you know the timing for that you can you can do the same thing it can just be at the same as the overhead hover attack but if you can't catch the timing just go stick with the overhead i feel like that's a lot more easy see she just does that and then you can see like the the horse is like recuperating from that jump or something and then go go in for that overhead and that's basically it for this version of Loretta. If you if you master the first one, this one will be easy. If you had trouble with the first one, this one might be a bit of a challenge. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, here are my setups for my swords. So yeah, and here are my talismans, and then my flask level. Okay, you can use Mimic or whatever summons, but up to you. And there's my stats. So yeah, hope this helps. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope to catch y'all next time. Oops. Oops.